Hey everyone, uh, if you guys have ever had an issue uh, with a Dodge Ram 1500 uh, having the check engine light on all of the time, uh, a common problem is this uh, underneath here. Normally, there are supposed to be canisters that sit about right there. Um, I managed to, uh, when my father-in-law had this truck, is uh, I managed to rip them off out in the desert and they just fell off well he went and bought some new ones put them on and they fell off somewhere between california and here in tennessee so i've been driving around for the last year with the check engine light on not wanting to deal with it but i finally got tired of it so looking around online i found that the uh 2000 and earlier model dodge ram 1500s at least can be sort of bypassed and because the we don't actually have any emissions laws here. Um, I disabled it. What I did, though, was I left everything else in. So, technically, it's still all somewhat sealed up. Basically, just taking this guy, which I need to actually tape and cover it up, putting a 100 watt, or sorry, 100 ohm, uh, this is a quarter watt resistor in there. Um, the wattage doesn't matter. You could have an, even an eight because it's not really doing anything there. Um, that triggers it to say, hey, I'm working correctly and there's no problem with me. So, if we go around here, it's been running for about 15, 20 minutes now. And you can see, no check engine light, yay. So, it works. And lovely dash. It's a Dodge, they fall apart. One day I'll uh, be able to get this replaced. It's sort of annoying when uh, your whole face starts falling off. And the uh, vents are starting to fall off, but that's a whole nother uh, thing that I'm working on. But no check engine light. Now we just need to get uh, this guy fixed. It'll randomly fill itself or empty itself. Anything, anytime it's below one half, it'll just go random. So I'll be working on the uh, fuel sender, or the lift pump, um, which is where the rheostat for that is set. But other than that, just a uh, 100 ohm resistor. And I'll go back up there real quick and show you one more time. Um, they're in different locations depending on what model of truck you have. Um, this one has the little uh, solenoid underneath what was an aftermarket airbox. Um, some of them have them on the back wall, some of them have them on the other side. Um, you basically have to find this little assembly that has two hoses coming into it and a little vent, I guess you could say, on the bottom. And you just unplug it, plug that guy in. Um, once you do that, to clear your codes, you just uh, disconnect your negative lead and turn on some lights and things in the truck. Let it sit for about five minutes. Uh, turn all the lights, everything off. Hook this back up, uh, and the engine code should be cleared. So, that is it. Hopefully this helps someone. This is for uh, anywhere from a 94 to 2001 series Dodge Ram, at least the 1500. Um, I believe all the others are about the same. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I know it works on a 1500, and it was mentioned that it has to be 2000 or older. So I guess that'd be the 94 to 2000, um, because in 2001, they changed to a different emission system um, that uses the same coding as the California emission system, which I thought this would have, uh, being from California, but apparently it had the federal emission system, um, which can use that bypass. Now. If you're in a place where you, they do emissions testing and things like that, or if you have the capability of keeping these emission systems on the truck, I would highly recommend that rather than the bypass. But if it's like my situation where the canisters keep just falling off and uh, the hoses are completely rotted out and I'm not going to dig through the truck to fix them, um, I would recommend this. But if you have emissions and things, just fix it right. It'll be much easier, 
and uh, you can actually get a ticket for this. If you went to an emissions testing and they saw that you modified that. Now, I'm not saying that someone would maybe hide this inside that housing to make it look like it's connected. But if they find that, that's a, a hefty fine for modifying a uh, emission system and trying to get emissions to pass. So if you're in a place that has emissions, watch what you do. Uh, if you're in a place that doesn't have emissions, like here, um, go for it at your own risk. But it's always better to try and fix the emission system as much as possible. I'm just tired of putting canisters on this thing that decide to rip themselves off. The brackets have been staying on, but the canisters themselves have been cracking and just falling apart. So, there it is. Hope it helps. See ya.